You had to get very creative this this past season, bring guys from different areas, some unique looks from the Colts. And that's exactly what we did right here. I mean, I think we're only going to rush three or four or five guys, but right here we got a defensive tackle lined up outside the left tackle standing up. We got our outside linebacker with his hand on the ground, and it just causes confusion. It causes these guys to have to identify. These five guys are, are looking for the four down linemen and the Mike linebacker to identify. But what we had to do is we kept only one defensive lineman in the game. The rest are linebackers. So good job identifying which guys are going to come. And, and that was the problem uh, that we created on offenses. And then you'll see right here, if I rewind it a little bit, this D tackle is going to come in and almost set a pick. And then you're going to run a TE stunt. And then this guy, he's not ready for it. He's going to get locked up by this defensive tackle. And it's going to cause a sack for the Colts. Actually, a really good job by uh, defense coordinator Greg Minuski in creating ways to get to the quarterback. And in that Titans game, that was when Vontae Davis wasn't thrown at all game, so some credit to the secondary as well. Then this play, only one defensive lineman on the field here. One defensive lineman right here, Ricky Jean right here. And then you got DeQuell. Uh, you got Josh McNary. Josh McNary, uh, Eric Walden, and Bjorn Werner. So you identifying which four of those guys. So what I would have done at offense coordinator is I would identify those four guys as your down and Mike. So the offensive line should pick him up. But then you got to worry about Sergio Brown right here. And is he uh, the responsibility of the back? Just again, confusion by the offensive line just allows them to get a free rusher. And nobody, this guy should be working this way because obviously there's these three big guys over here and you got this guy probably got to count for this guy. He works opposite and you're going to get nobody blocking to Quell Jackson and he's going to get a big hit on uh, Charlie Whitehurst. And we see a lot of different faces. Seven guys had at least three sacks last year for the Colts. Obviously a far cry from 2013 when Mathis had all the sacks. And then down there, this is the season finale down there in Tennessee. Yeah, and what do you do here? I mean, Charlie Whitehurst is going to bring his back into the backfield, but who's going to come? Again, you've got two defensive linemen in the game. You've got four linebackers. Jonathan Newsom over here. You've got Landry lined up right here that can come. You've got Mike Adams. Which, which, which two of these guys, which one of these guys is going to cover this back? Which guy is going to come? And it's just the identification process. And I think with Robert coming back and these packages that we put in, I think it would be a very stout defense. But, you know, this is just one. You can't let this happen. I mean, you just let an outside linebacker go free. This guy should definitely be working out. But then you don't want a defensive tackle to go free. And this one really hurt Charlie Whitehurst. <laughs> I remember this play. He, he was a different quarterback after that hit. And Jonathan Newsom, six and a half sacks last year. The closest thing, I think, to Robert Mathis from a pure individual pass rushing standpoint. One thing to watch, Jim, this year with all these new faces, Trent Cole now into this package as well. You're going to have a lot of NASCAR looks. And our final play here that we look at the Cincinnati game, this is when they, they have seven guys in to protect, the Colts still get to Andy Dalton. Yeah, you're going to block with either five, six, or seven guys, and they're blocking right here with seven. They got their five offensive linemen, a running back, and then a tight end right here, and they're going to block seven guys, and they should be able to do it because we only got six guys right here, but obviously we're going to add on here, and it's just a, a matter of identification again because they're talking. They don't know what's going on. You can see it right here. The Running back's asking, who mm -hmm. do I have? Do I check here? Do I search over in this area? It's and they kind of come back. Be you just do, you, you don't know. And Andy Dalton had no answers. Even though they have seven guys in protection, it just wasn't getting the job done. You can see he's fixing things. And it's just he doesn't know where to go. He's confused. And when you confuse a quarterback, he keeps his eyes on the defense coming at him and not so much on the receivers down the field. Mm -hmm. And it just causes for, for mass chaos and havoc. And that's what the Colts did. Greg Minuski, again, is going to have plenty of options this year. Jonathan Newsom in his second year. Trent Cole, hopefully a healthy Robert Mathis. A lot of different looks he can go to on third downs in 2015.